Bonjour et bienvenue. In this video, you are going to learn le conditionnel présent. Before teaching any tense, at first, let us talk about the moods. There are six moods in French. L'indicatif, le subjonctif, le conditionnel, l'impératif, l'infinitif and le participe. You remember, I always tell the moods are like the umbrellas and the tenses are like the frogs which come under these umbrellas. Under the umbrella of conditional mood, there are only two frogs, which means two tenses, le conditionnel présent and le conditionnel passé. We will only discuss about the conditional présent in this video. There are three groups of verbs in French. First group of verbs end with ER, second group of verbs end with ER, and third group of verbs end with ER, RE, and OER. There are many tenses in French which have radical plus terminaison structure. For example, le présent, le futur simple, l'imperfait, etc. All these tenses have radical plus terminaison structure. Links in the description. Le conditionnel présent also has radical plus terminaison structure. Let's see how to conjugate the verbs in conditionnel présent tense. Step 1. How to form the radical for le conditionnel présent? Very simple. It's exactly the same as le futur simple radical. For the first group, ER ending verbs, we will keep the full spelling as it is. Example, parler remains parler. For the second group, ER ending verbs and the third group, ER ending verbs, we will keep the full spelling of the verb as it is. Example, finir of second group will remain finir. Partir of third group will remain partir. As for the third group R E ending verbs, we will remove the final E and keep the R. That will be the radical for conditionnel présent. For example, prendre. In the radical, the final E will be removed. Attendre. In the radical, the final E is removed. What about the rest of the verbs and their radical? Just memorize the radical for these verbs. Aller, ir, venir, v-i-e-n-d-r, voir, v-e-r-r, vouloir, v-o-u-d-r, devoir, d-e-v-r, falloir, f-a-u-d-r, faire, f-e-r, être, s-e-r, avoir, a-u-r, Pouvoir, P-O-U-R-R. Savoir, S-A-U-R. Mourir, M-O-U-R-R. Appuyer, any Y-E-R ending verb. A-P-P-U-I-E-R. Acheter, any E in the middle type verb. Acheter. A C H E accent grave T E R. Here E becomes E. Appuyer and acheter are first group verbs. The radical of conditionnel présent are exactly the same as le futur simple. Step 2. Now let's learn the terminaison or the ending parts of le conditionnel présent. These are exactly the same as l'imparfait tenses radical. I-S, I-S, I-T, I-T, I-O-N-S, I-E-Z, I-E-N-T, I-E-N-T. And you can use these terminaisons for all three groups of verbs without exception. Let's check out the conjugaison. Parler from first group. 
I wrote the radical for first group, that is, the full spelling of the verb. Then I will add the termination. IS, IS, IT, IT, IONS, IEZ, IUNT, IUNT. Je parlerai, meaning I would speak. Tu parlerai, meaning you would speak. Il parlerait, elle parlerait, nous parlerions, vous parleriez, il parlerait, elle parlerait. Finir from second group. The full spelling is the radical. Je finirai, tu finirai, il finirait, elle finirait, nous finirions, vous finiriez, il finirait, elle finirait. The meanings are written on the screen. Prendre. In the radical, I have removed the final E and we got our radical. Then the terminaison. IS, IS, IT, IT, etc. Je prendrai, tu prendrai, il prendrai, elle prendrai, nous prendrions, vous prendriez, il prendrait, elle prendrait. Let's take aller from third group. IR is the radical. And I will add the terminaison. J'irai. Tu irais, il irait, elle irait, nous irions, vous iriez, ils iraient, elles iraient. The meanings on the screen. Now you know how to conjugate any verb in conditionnel présent. Now we have to learn where and when to use conditionnel présent tense. This is very important to understand. Firstly, when you want to express your wish, dream, etc. For example, je voudrais un café s'il vous plaît. Je souhaiterais visiter ta maison. J'aimerais partir aux États-Unis. Il aimerait devenir écrivain. Secondly, when you want to express eventuality, possibility, or demand. For example, tu serais capable de marcher jusqu'à l'école? Tu pourrais parler avec ses parents. Thirdly, and very importantly, le conditionnel present tense is used to express politeness. Without politeness, we are monsters. For example, Pourriez-vous me donner ce livre, s'il vous plaît? Je voudrais réserver une chambre pour deux personnes, s'il vous plaît. Fourthly, and very importantly, we use conditionnel present tense to make a hypothesis in present or in past. In present, si plus imparfait, plus conditionnel. For example, si elle me téléphonait, nous irions au restaurant. The clause starting with si is the condition and the rest of the sentence is the consequence. The condition is in imparfait and the consequence is in conditionnel présent. Si j'avais de l'argent, Je partirai pour le voyage. S'il faisait beau, j'irai à la plage. We will learn le conditionnel passé in some other video. Fifthly, and again, this is very important, le conditionnel présent is used to express the future in the past. That is why this tense is also called le futur dans le passé. It is seen often in the indirect speech. For example, Hier matin, il m'a dit, je partirai à 10 heures. In the indirect speech, Hier matin, il m'a dit qu'il partirait à 10 heures. After changing the narration, from direct to indirect speech, 
partiré from the future simple became partiré in conditional present. For example, your friend said yesterday, I will go out at 10. Now today you are reporting it to your other friend. Will go out is no longer a future event. It's a future situated in the past. So while reporting, it becomes le conditionnel présent or le futur dans le passé. Sixthly, le conditionnel can be used to give an information without certainty. For example, il se pourrait qu'il pleuve demain. D'après les témoins, il y aurait des blessés. Seventhly, when you want to give suggestions, however, the voir verb can also be used in present tense depending on the context. For example, elle devrait sortir de son cabinet de travail. Some more examples with conditional present. Si j'étais plus jeune, je ferais de la planche à voile. Stéphane pensait que son ami viendrait dans son mariage. Tu devrais mettre une belle chemise. In conclusion, let's sum up. Le conditionnel présent can be used to express wish, desire, dream. To express eventuality, possibility. To express politeness. Hypothesis in present and past. To express the future in the past. To give an information without certainty. To give suggestions. This much for now. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt.